Ah, uh, yeah, we left off on uh, Pisces Sun. So, yeah, Pisces Sun, you guys are the dreamers. So, like I said, your solar plexus, that's the solar plexus right there. So, the solar plexus looks like Neptune and Jupiter. So, for the most part, what is the sun? What is the solar plexus? Your actions, how you act, how you see things, what you're consciously aware of uh, uh, for the most part. And, and, and this is a whole new video right here, so make sure if you're a Pisces, you watch the previous video also because I was still breaking y'all down, you know what I'm saying, after Aquarius. But the video is uh, too long, so it shut down. Uh, but due to the fact of this is your solar plexus, this is what you see, and this is how other people view you. So people view you and how you see the world. It has to have meaning to it. It has to have reasoning to it. That's how you view the world. And this is what your actions is back to supported by, a meaning and reasoning. It's just a lot of times your meanings and reasoning is based upon your dreams, not actually seeing or observing the external world. Your meanings and reasoning is a lot of times be from your own world. Now, a lot of times based upon what kind of Pisces that you are, it could be a very beautiful world. And then for the most part, it's a, you create a very beautiful world that everyone else likes to look at. And things of that nature. You can kind of take it into consideration. Look at Rihanna videos and things of that nature. They're basically a director sitting back creating a set that kind of involves her world. You know what I'm saying? You can kind of look at a lot of Pisces artists and things of that nature. And a lot of times, this is uh, Tyler, the creator, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, let me make sure I ain't talking out of my ass. Let me make sure I ain't talking out of my ass. Tyler, the creator, Zodiac. Okay, yeah, Pisces. Woo, I'm about to say how I was about to be talking about my ass. But yeah, like I said, you're going into their world. So when you go into people like Rihanna, you look at Tyler the Creator's videos and stuff like that. For the most part, uh, you can tell that their videos is not really considering to the external world. A lot of times, other people will look at them like, damn, this person is in their own world. God damn it, look at Tyler the Creator's first fucking video. He hung his goddamn self and he ate a goddamn roach. Now, motherfucker, the, he directed that video. So he brought the audience to his world and based upon the spirit that was in that Pisces body he was able to create a world that everyone else want to swim in aka be fishies in now based upon if you are a negative spirit in this Pisces body then the shit that you might emit through that solar plexus is a very dark world and you might bring a lot of people into being um, easily persuaded or uh, manipulative energies or put placing your emotions and feelings onto others and, and playing a, a guilt or victim role when you're not when in the back of your head you know you're not the victim you're just utilizing Utilizing these energies for the sake of getting what you want out of the circumstance. I mean, you can utilize this Pisces energy for a lot of things because you're intuitive. For the most part, you can see the way a person is acting and the way that they view things. And you can start to see the meaning and reasoning behind it because that's that Jupiter wisdom. And you can also see what this person is dreaming about based upon what they're constantly always into. And then you can kind of sense that for the most part. And then by Venus being here, you can kind of see what a person is appreciating in their lives. And you can kind of sit back from an esoteric level and kind of size up a person like and see if you want to indulge into that or not and a lot of times you don't express this verbally so a lot of times when you associate or detach yourself from people the, the person that you're doing this with or the group of people that you're or family members you're doing this with don't necessarily know that's what you're actually doing but that's kind of what you're doing you're always moving your water to see if your water match other people water even if these people know that's what you're doing or not because you're not verbally commu communicating these things and you're not acting in these kind of ways you're letting your sun sign kind of go into this Jupiter or Neptune arena you know, where it's going with the flow and based upon the influence and how these people make you feel that's how you're determining uh these flows so you're not really coming at things from a logical base based upon also mercury being debilitated here so this goes good for creativity and this goes good for being a friend and this goes good for showing concern this goes good for those kind of energies but it's very bad when it comes to making yourself a part of the world in a legit way you see what i'm saying so therefore you need a team around you or a support system that can help you redirect all that a uh, chaotic flow into an area where the, that flow could be settled and other people could swim in those waters other, uh, too. Otherwise, won't nobody be able to swim in your waters because your waters is too far out there, a.k.a. Jupiter. You just swam too far out there as a fish, and then one fish is where people see you at, but the other side of you where is too far out there. So, so the most part, you, may, you, you come across as um, not understandable. So you have to be careful of that also to the point that you have to start acting in certain ways in order for people to understand you. And if you don't have a sufficient external representation to act out these dreams and imaginations, then you're going to be acting out in ways to, and fighting all the time and shit like that and, and causing all kind of fucked up circumstances in your relationships and shit like that in order to get people to understand what you couldn't really do verbally because Mercury is debilitated here. You see what I'm saying? 
Now, when we get into the moon, the moon, you guys are the creators. So where the sun is the dreamer, the moon is the creators. This would make you guys very different because the moon, you guys like to react and respond to everyone's emotional stability. So instead of you getting overwhelmed by the world or having to play the chameleon and taking the shape and form of the world like the sun sign, the moon right here, you kind of react and respond to others that do these things. And you can kind of see these things and kind of reshape it and come up with a creative attribute on how it can look like a picture that everybody else could be in. On how it can look like waters that's flowing subtly so no surfers won't do no wipeout. AKA all spirits can swim there. So you sit back and you like to create the Pisces world. So you may not necessarily, so if you're a Pisces sun, it might it might be double the energy. But Pisces, this would make Pisces moon very different than the Pisces sun. Because the Pisces moon sit back and want to manifest that world. So they want to manifest meanings and reasons in their life. They want to they wanna see meanings and reasons into other people. You know what I'm saying? They want to have they want to have wisdom and knowledge. They This is what makes them feel comfortable. So a lot of times they're not being overwhelmed like the sun sign or they're not trying to play that role like the sun sign. The moon sign right here is basically this just what makes them feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? They're not necessarily participating in this energy. This is what makes them feel comfortable. So this is what makes them the creator because they like that the moon is your space. What makes you feel comfortable? And anytime you're not in that space, you're going to feel highly uncomfortable. So you love being in the space of Neptune. You love being in the space of Jupiter. So a lot of times you, you won't even waste your time with other people because you're too busy in your own arts. You, you, you probably already in the music. You probably already, you probably already have found a way to externally communicate what's going on emotionally because it's Pisces moon sign. So since Mercury is debilitated, but Pisces but Pisces become your moon sign, then you're reacting and responding to that Mercury debilitation. So before you even express a debilitation for other people to see that it's a debilitation, you're going to go do things that you're comfortable with, aka the things that kind of wipe out that Mercury debilitation, aka you're doing things that you're comfortable with, Pisces-like things, drawing, art, music, or whatever like that. So a per you're, you're already manifesting aka the moon you're already manifesting people places and things in your life of people uh of people that's in the same area of external representations of expressing your internal world therefore you don't have to suffer like the pisces sun sign with having to act out for people to see what's going on you already doing certain things now the pisces sun sign slowly but shortly get into these areas also but i'm just trying to break down the difference between the scenarios you know what i'm saying where a pisces sun sign may get frustrated from the external world, the Pisces moon sign is already in a situation where they're not in the external world, but the people that they manifest in their life from the external world is matching their internal world. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of times when you uh, when a, a Pisces put themselves around other people, places and things that don't match their frequency vibrations and shit like that, they just simply separate. You know what I'm saying? They might not, and this is what makes them more like the Aquarius, or this is what makes them more like the Aries or or the Scorpio. A lot of times, because a Pisces moon would be like, I don't need to be in this vibration anyway. Where the Pisces sun sometimes may take on the role where they feel like they need to help, may take on the role where they feel like something's going on here, or take on the role of actually separating. You know what I'm saying? The Pisces moon sign is taking on the role of just observing the vibrations and just not even dealing with it in general, to the point that you don't know if this if this person. This person ain't going to be around you anyway. You know what I'm saying? If you're a person that, that they don't match their frequency vibration with. So keep that in mind. Also, a Pisces sun sign will try sometimes because they, it's the sun. They see Neptune. So a lot of times they will see an imagination. They will see the goodness in a person. Even if that person is not good. A Pisces moon sign is receiving this. They'll feel the vibration regardless of what, what's being shown because it's not the sun. So what's being, what's being felt is the emotion. And then regardless of a person talking a good game, a Pisces moon sign would be like, this, this don't match my feelings of how I see the world. So I'm just going to stay in my creative space. Now, here's another thing. You may pass up opportunities. You may prejudge. You know what I'm saying? You may, uh, you may think something a certain way that it really ain't a lot of times. And you may think you're smart or got enough wisdom or and then you end up playing out possibilities of being too smart for your own good and end up missing things. So that's the bad part of the Pisces moon. You see what I'm saying? So keep that in mind also. To the point that you think you're too wise, you think you're too observant, and you caught the wrong feelings. You see what I'm saying? And therefore you have missed the opportunity. Almost like those circumstances, like you probably went somewhere with a group of friends, right? And then you started to feel a certain way. Now since you was right a bunch of other times, you convinced to yourself that you're right this time. And you end up... Uh, being like, nah, I don't feel comfortable with this, y'all. And then you leave the group, and then your whole group get a record deal. And your ass left. Now your ass got to suffer through certain... You, your ass got to suffer just like the Pisces sun sign of being on your own, having to find your own record deal, being a solo artist. Now here's where the Pisces sun sign got advantage over the Pisces moon sign.
sign because the Pisces sun sign have already went through a bunch of circumstances of being lost, bad relationships, helping the wrong people to the point that they, they didn't ran into the people that seen them and be like, you a star, you, you a solo act, and they, you don't have to be a part of a group and shit like that, right? See, and that's where they got advantage over you. Because you being a Pisces moon, you already feel like you need to be a solo artist. So when you do get up amongst a group, now you don't feel right about certain things. You separate. Now they all got a deal. Now you got to go through. Now you got to go through what the Pisces sun sign have already went through in order for your ass to understand that you got to be a little bit more open. You know what I'm saying? Now. Pisces Ascendant. Pisces Ascendant. This is personal connection. So you guys have a personal connection with your dreams. You guys have a personal connection with your meanings and reasonings and your moral systems. So a lot of times when you're around other people who don't connect in the same area as you connect with, then for the most part, this puts you, this makes you personally uneasy. This makes a, this makes you look at a person like, I, I can't make this person a part of my personal affairs. I, I'm not personally interested in this person. I can't make this person a part of my personal life. You know what I'm saying? When a person don't share similar personal interests as far as the dreams of Illusions, creativity, or meanings of reasons, spiritual systems, religion, and things of that nature. And a Pisces ascendant may be even way more religious than a Pisces sun or moon. See, a Pisces sun, a lot of time, may use religion for certain things, but may not necessarily be like that at home. You know what I'm saying? They may really be trying to find their spirit at home. A Pisces moon sign, uh, a lot of time, may disregard spirituality as a whole if it's not pertaining to their dreams. But if their dreams make them feel a sense of spirituality, then they're in that. And a lot of times they don't have anything to do with utilizing external purposes. And they'd be the first people who will are, who are run away from religion. But then when it comes to the Pisces Ascendant, this is all they know. And a lot of times, even if they are atheists, or even if they are a person that's into uh that's not into religion right they will use these things to cover up what they're actually into in some way shape or form and a lot of times they will be personally into these things and like they like for an example say you come across a pisces ascendant but they're a christian right but you can you could give them a bunch of things to make them not christians anymore right they won't necessarily not be a christian anymore but they won't necessarily disagree with you either they sit there understand everything that you're saying but they but they'd be the first person to tell you but just being a Christian make me feel good. You know what I'm saying? Now, even if they are atheists, you know what I'm saying? And they flip it on the other side. You can give them all kind of shit to make them think that why well, theism or religion makes sense. And for the most part, they uh, Pisces Ascendant won't be no hardcore atheist to be like, nah, fuck that. Ain't, no, ain't none of that. Ain't none of that. They, they'd probably find areas where they can agree with you and actually be like, yeah, that makes sense. But they'd be the first, peop they'd be the first person to say, but yeah, but just being an atheist make me feel good, though. So that meaning means something more to me than whatever you're trying to bring to me logically. You see what I'm saying? It's like, but they may not say the word logically because a, a Pisces Ascendant have very good capabilities of being logical more than the Pisces Sun and Pisces Moon. You see what I'm saying? So you have to keep that in mind uh, when you're talking about these scenarios because, see, a, a, a Pisces um, Ascendant motherfucker uh, have Taurus in the third house. And with Taurus being in the third house, this makes them be very practical and rational about them about their surroundings. So, and then they have a, a Gemini fourth house. So they're very logical and they and they know how to communicate when it comes to close matters. So for the most part, this would this would makes them know how to rationalize what's going on internally faster than the Pisces Sun and Moon. But they have their debilitations also, because for the most part, when they're wrapped up into a personal dream, you can't get them out of it. And here's where they play out energies of like a Scorpio or play out energies like a Leo, you know what I'm saying? Or even a Taurus, uh, a Pisces Ascendant, because they can, when, when, they're, when they're personally ascended, invested into Jupiter and Neptune energies, their chart rulers, for the most part, you can't get them out of that. Even... And it could be an illusion, but you, it, I don't care what you do, you can't get them out of that personal dream. And based upon the spirit that's in that Pisces ascended body, if, if the dream is a good one, then that be a motherfucker that you see is uh, consistent and they dream gonna come true. Come true. If that dream is a fucked up one, that's gonna be the person you see as they're stubborn and they're lost into an illusion and, waste, and wasting their time on something that's never gonna come true. But you can't convince a Pisces ascended this unless they go through these experiences themselves. So don't even waste your breath. You know what I'm saying? They have to go through these, AKA Jupiter. They have to go through a bunch of stumbles and falls and ups and downs themselves in order to, in order to have the meanings and reasons behind whatever that they was doing. Otherwise, save your breath. You know what I'm saying? But a Pisces Ascendant, you know what I'm saying, these, these people are, are, are personally invested into their dreams and imagination. And they're, they're personally connected to their personal affairs, the personal people, places, and things in, the, in their lives. And this is what makes them uh, 
cancers, uh, cancer like also because they're connected with family and things of that nature. Uh, or regardless of the moral systems if, if you are part of a pisces ascended family but you don't share you don't share the same moral systems and things of that nature but they, they still look at you as family they, they they willing to set that aside if you are family now if you are a friend or associate that's a different party see what i'm saying that's a different story but a pisces ascendant is willing to debate and agree to disagree with a family member all day and always make the situation lighter to the point that you would love having conversations with this Pisces Ascendant about religion and morality and shit like that. Because y'all willing to have funny debates and shit like that. But y'all know it ain't no hard feelings at the end of it. Because at the end of the day, it's a Pisces. It's mutable water. So they're able to create the conversation in a relatable way, even if it's still disagreeable uh, subjects. See what I'm saying? Therefore, we can laugh after what we're talking about because a, a Pisces will give you the energy, give you the sense of energy that you could you could be you around them without them judging you. See what I'm saying? So yeah, flight boss, bitch, goddamn air, and I love y'all. This motherfucker, look, we was about to go almost uh, a fucking half an hour on this one. <laughs> but yeah, we going live tonight in this motherfucker, so we break it down the motherfucker. Uh, each each uh. Ascended the houses uh, that the moon is going to be moving through with this new moon and we're going to be breaking down the flight tarot card readings Also for business and career matters for this new uh, Sagittarius season that we're going through flight boss bitch goddamn air <laughs>